Welcome to my YouTube channel, Marie's Country Life. Hello everyone! Hello, hello, it's me Marie. Today I'm going to do unboxing and at the same time I'm going to do a quick demo on how to make Ta -da! soy milk. But before I do that, I have a question for you. Do you like soy milk? My family likes soy milk. We also like almond milk and some other beverages. Uh, whether we eat breakfast with cereal or just drinking it by itself, we like it. So anyway, how do you make soy milk? Do you do it manually or do you have a soy maker? Uh, my family, I can make soy milk using just manual process and I and at the same time I also we also use a soy maker and for the past nine years our soy maker which is the soya joy brand this is a G4 soya soya joy <laughs> brand uh, we've been using this for nine years and we use it like pretty much every other day and if we have more people here we use it every day so anyway and because this one is not working anymore we decided to buy another one and this time it's a soya joy G5 it's an upgraded version and today I'm going to unbox this in front of you <laughs> in front of the video and I'm going to demonstrate how to use the soya joy okay I highly recommend this brand I highly recommend this product because this is a good brand okay and very efficient and it's easy to use so here is the Soya Joy G5. It comes with this box, and you see there is already there is the label and our address. So anyway, right here. So it didn't really come in a different box. This is the box. So let me see here. Cut this here. Whew, it was difficult to open. Finally, okay. Here it is. Dear customer, thanks, to your, thanks for your purchase of the Soya Joy G5. <laughs> In addition to the standard one-year manufacturer warranty, you will receive one more year of warranty for a total of two years. So email them and then there's additional information right here, blah, blah, blah. And then you have to, of course, email them and there's their phone number. Okay, <laughs> here it is. Ooh, it looks similar to the older style, but wow, it's fancier, obviously. It's... It's about the same height. This is this G4, Soya Joy G4. This is the Soya Joy G4. And for some reason, I think the motor of this one just quit working because it will heat, but it will uh, not boil. So I think something's wrong with the motor. We've used it a lot. And you're not supposed to wash the head because this is where the motor is. Anyway, I think something happened. Maybe it, it might have dropped or something. So this is the G5, Soya Joy. G5. Ooh, the handle is the shiny on this one. And you see, and here's the reheat, baked beans, start, and select. You have to select which one you want. Uh, it says grain, grains or soy, dry beans, raw milk, and you have chunky soup, pureed soup, and hot cocoa. Uh, it says here, it specifically says here, do not rinse or submerge this unit in water but of course you can wipe the top and this is what it looks like here this this one here this port here needs to uh, interlock there you go and this is where your cord is gonna be and I have to find the cord <laughs> where is the cord here is the cord okay the cord and the cup here is the cord right here goes here and there you go and th there is an intended cup for this for a batch of soy milk you only use this I think this is half a cup for half a regular cup so you only use this cup it's pretty small but this is intended for measuring the soy milk that you're gonna use for each batch and here is also a strainer this strainer is only designed for straining out or draining the soy milk or the soy pulp right here this is a lot smaller than the previous than the the g4 soy soy milk strainer let me show you the g4 one so this this is the G4 uh, unit strainer, and this is the G5, so it's smaller, but 
I think it's okay. This is I can still use the G4 anyway. And it also has here a free. <laughs> it says non-GMO Lara soybeans. We use also Lara soybeans. Okay. And if you if you are new to Lara soybeans, you can use the code best best bean for ten percent off off your first order. And then you go to laurasoybeans.com. See, that's a free plug. That's a free promotion of Laura Soybeans. I don't get any money from them, but anyway, I mentioned it anyway. <laughs> so anyway, this is my new soy maker. And this is this is where you put your soybeans, your soaked soybeans. It says here, the first, if you can see this one here, it ha the first line, it says 1,300 ml and the top line is 1,600 ml. It means this is the maximum, the highest uh, line. And after you soak your soybeans, you put the soybeans inside, and this is this is the these are the blades. Okay, these are the blades. And for this uh, brand or for this for this unit, it, it the the motor the end of it has some kind of compartment uh, uh, con container something like that. It, maybe holds or keep the soybeans intact as you put it at the bottom or as it grinds or as it blends it will keep it contained to make it smoother the g4 it doesn't have it it just uh it it has these blades but it doesn't have the the thing the curved thing like a cup so but before this unit the Soya Joy, it came with a small cup with a strainer, something like this. Quite big, a lot bigger, but it seems like like this before. The brand before, this G4. The brand before Soya Joy G4, it came with a cup, and then the blades will, will sit inside, something like that. But that's not the style of G4. G4 doesn't have it, so you just have to put the soybeans inside, and then you plug it in, and you're ready. And G5 is an upgraded version, because it has this. So, we shall see, and I'm going to try it now. Another important reminder is that before you use this soy maker, that you wash the soy maker inside with warm water and a little bit of soap, and make sure that you rinse it properly and rinse it well. And again, don't rinse or don't wash the head because this is where the, uh, this is the, where the motor is. And before you operate this machine or the soy maker, make use that you read the user manual. This is the where it tells you what to do, what how to function and to troubleshoot if there are problems and it will this is the guide. And what you can see here the display here and the quick functions and it tells you the instructions, the tips and reminders and before you use the Soya Joy G5 for the first time. And here's a little bit of uh, information or a recipe making basic soy milk from soaked soybeans and there are sample recipes as well, creating your own recipes. You can use also almond if you like almond milk, but make sure that you soak it. Just like soybeans, regular soybeans, you make sure that you soak the soybeans for at least eight hours. And for almond milk, you soak it for overnight because it's a lot bigger than soybeans. And it's recommend, it is recommended to to remove the skin of the, of the almond nuts because... Um, I don't know why they recommend that, but it's highly recommended to remove the skin. It's kind of hard to remove the skin when it's still on the on the nut itself, but yeah, it's recommended to remove the skin. But when I use when I make almond milk, I just soak it. I just soak it and then put it in the blender and I strain it. That's what I do. And the same with soy milk, soy milk, soybeans. The same with soybeans. I soak it and I rinse it and then I process it using this machine. When you wash this, when you wash this part, make sure that you don't try to avoid putting water here because this is where the, uh, right here. And also this, this is where the plug goes. I mean, the, it connects this one and here they connect to each other. So be very careful so that water won't get inside when you wash this unit. And also here, this is where the plug goes right here. So make sure that you don't wet this part only hand wash preferably hand wash and also this part is hand wash you can use a brush and you can use cloth but do not 
submerge this part here in water. And here is the soaked soybeans that I soaked since this morning. And this needs uh, rinse. I need to drain this and rinse. And I will put this uh, soy milk, soybeans inside the maker. I just put water in the pitcher. I have 1,300 milliliter and I drain the and rinse the soaked soybeans and it's time to put the soaked soybeans inside and here's the motor make sure that it's connected there you go and the plug oh sorry wrong end this one <laughs> and plug right here after you plug the cord this is what will show and it's like orange red you press the soaked beans and it will show that and it will show that it will process for 36 minutes and that's it in about 36 minutes the machine will display the end word and it will beep for one minute then it will show b b means keep warm until you unplug it and now we'll just wait until the process is done, okay? Do you hear that sound? It is warming or heating the water and then it will boil. The difference between the Soya Joy G4 and the Soya Joy G5 is this one has this little screen here that will show the digits, it's digital. The Soya Joy G G4, it didn't have it. It just have this and the buttons will light up in red soaked beans dry beans raw juice greens porridge so it's a pretty simple uh, display but this one here it's an upgraded version for sure so but it still has options of processing grain dry beans you can make soy milk if the beans even if the beans are dry you can do raw milk you can do chunky soup you can puree soup and you can also do hot cocoa yeah, I'm not. yeah, that's it. I think this is better, and of course, it's a little more expensive than the Soya Joy G4. This is definitely an upgraded version. You can use the Soya Joy G5 for making soy milk, rice soy milk, soy nut milk, multigrain soy milk, almond milk, hot chocolate, and rice squash soup. So it's pretty interesting and the G4 can do the same thing so you can do whatever you want puree or juice or something like that and you can also do pumpkin celery soup any soup that you want the water is hot and it's boiling that's the sound of the boiling soy maker inside the water is boiling the display shows that it has 30 minutes left process processing time making soy milk manually also takes about 25 to 30 minutes because you'll have to do everything manually the soaked soybeans you will put the soaked soybeans in the blender with water and then you have to blend it really fine and smooth and then you add more water about two to three cups of water or four cups maximum depending on how much soy milk you want you put the blended soybeans and water into a big boiling pot and then you let it boil for several minutes and make sure that you watch it carefully because it can overboil really easily. So you have to really watch it and don't cover it. You have to keep stirring it. And that's how you make soy milk manually. And it will take about 25 minutes to 30 minutes too. And if you make soy milk using uh, a blender and cooking pot and constantly stirring. But this one, soy milk, soy maker of course comes handy because it does everything for you the warming up the heating and the blending inside and the cooking of the beans mixed in water the outside it's warm it's not very hot but with the soy joy g4 the outside is more hot you can burn your fingers but this one it's warm but it's not gonna burn you so it's more protected i think the outside is it's like a thermos almost the feel and then the handle is not hot 
the handle on the G4 is, was, is not hot, but yeah. But the silver on Soya Joy G4 is hot. This one, you can touch it. And it's not gonna burn you. It shows there's two minutes left. Two minutes left, processing time. One minute. And we shall see what sound does it make when it when the process finished. It says end. Mm-hmm. Okay, it means it's done. It's the process is finished. The process is finished and the this here is blinking and you will see it's like a B here on the display. It shows that according to the manual, if you see the B letter, it means that it's warming or it's keeping the milk warm or hot and then just do the draining whenever you get to it and after if you want to drain it then unplug and lift this is what you see inside soy milk and then put this in the sink put this in the sink make sure that you don't soak or submerge the head of uh, the soy maker where the motor is let it cool before you brush or wash it and then it's time to drain i just use the soy joy g4 strainer and the pitcher because we it just fits with the pitcher we have it is recommended that you wait for 10 to 15 minutes before you strain out the pulp because the pulp will settle at the bottom of the cooking pot or the pitcher. It makes it easier for straining. Like that, you can see it. And then if you have a spatula, then you can just stir it. It helps uh, the milk uh, drain properly. And you see here, if you, you can just use a spatula. And it will help it. And if you want to strain it fast, then you have to use the spatula. See, it? it's straining it. When there's no soy milk dripping, it's time to season the soy milk. And transfer it here in the container. And put however much sugar you want. If you want not too sweet, you only put a little bit of sugar. If you put too much sugar, then obviously it'll be sweeter. I typically put three to four tablespoons of sugar per batch. So, soy milk is ready. To learn more about how to make homemade soy milk, using a soy maker or just using a manual process, feel free to click the link for more information. Thank you.